All right. There you go. Welcome back, everybody. It's been so long. <laughs> All right. I'm still waiting on some guesses to see who's going to be our first cultural moment. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, Katie Wiggins, you might be on to something. <laughs> Hi, Camden. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. All right. So our first cultural moment of 2020, we have the one, the only, Hey, it's so great to see you. It's so great to see you too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been since 2018. <laughs> oh my god. You know, seeing seeing Cedar Lake and seeing the dining hall, it just feels like home again. Yes, well welcome home, Steph. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna turn it over to you, Steph, for some fun facts about Switzerland. Yes. So I'm excited that you're all here. Um, yeah, to hear some, some, to hear about some interesting facts about Switzerland. So it is a very, very small country. Yeah, I've uh, researched that it's um, well about the size when you when you combine uh, Vermont and New Hampshire. That's about Switzerland. So it's very small. And it has about 8.5 million inhabitants. And I think what is really, really interesting in Switzerland is that we have four national languages. Can you guys guess these four national languages? <laughs> and small tip, it's not, none of them is English. That's so cool. We, All right, give us your guesses in the comments, you guys. All right. Oh, I feel like I've never done this before. I feel like an influencer now. Give us your comments and uh, your guesses in the comments. This is amazing. So which languages do we speak in Switzerland? That's the question. Yes, very good. German and French. There. That's two out of four. Amazing. But it's like it's also a special German. So Germans don't really understand us when we speak our weird Swiss German. So it's German, French. Any other guesses? Just a lot of people tuning in. This is amazing. Jake, do you know? Um, let's see. Italian! Yes, Alexander. Amazing. <laughs> Italian? <laughs> so it is French, German, Italian. And then the fourth one, I'm going to give you that. That's uh, Romanch, but only like three per... Uh, 3% of the population speak Romansh. That's what you that speak in be my guess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but it's a beautiful language. I, it's like a mixture of Italian and German. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. But it's just old people in the mountains that speak it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we have, like, I mean, it's a super tiny country, but we still have 26 uh, counties, like we call them cantons. And they all have their own distinct culture. I'm from Zurich. I think maybe you know, you know Zurich. It's a pretty big city. Um, yeah, and like our, we have a direct democracy. That's also quite, um, yeah, interesting, I think, because that means about every three months we get a letter and we vote on any kind of things. So we have to vote a lot and uh, stay informed, which has its pro and cons. Yeah, but it's it's actually really really interesting. Yeah. Um, what else? 
We, I mean, we are famous for like, you know, what, what, what do you guys associate with Switzerland? I'm curious. What are we famous for? Drop it in the comments. Or Jake, maybe I can ask you, what do you think when, when I say Switzerland? I mean, the first thing that I think of is hot chocolate. The Swiss mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I remember having that Swiss thing. Yeah, exactly. I see cheese, chocolate, mountains. Yeah. Skiing, absolutely. Yeah, skiing. I love skiing. Although all the <laughs> ski resorts are closed right now, but I'm sure they're going to reopen again next year. Um, yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, Salome. <laughs> it's nice to see you here. <laughs> Have you ever been to Camp Hazen? <laughs> it's a, she's a scout friend of mine back from Switzerland. Oh, cool. Well, she's gonna, yeah, she's going to correct me in case I say anything that is wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually an imposter because I don't live in Switzerland anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But I, yeah, I go back quite uh, regularly. And it's, yeah, so I think uh, chocolate, um, we actually don't, fun fact, we don't have Swiss Miss. Um, that's something American. Uh, but chocolate, I think we're also quite famous for Roger Federer, the tennis player, in case you're into tennis. And yeah, also other fun fact, our flag is, uh, is a big plus. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's um it's the white cross on uh, on red background, and it's the um, together with the Vatican. It's the only flag in the entire world that is a square. Yeah. Cool, huh? That's <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Do you guys know any Swiss cities apart from Zurich? Do you know some other cities that are in Switzerland? Mm -hmm. Let's see. No, okay, that's that's fine. It's, it's a small country. Basel, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, Basel. very very culturally rich. And also, a fun fact about Basel: there is the Rhine flowing through Basel, and you can actually like oh Geneva, amazing. Yeah, exactly. Um, in in Basel, in summer, you can actually like travel with the river. You can just hop into the river and let yourself float, and then hop hop off at any other point. And it's quite fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah, I think the most uh, famous ones are Zurich, Geneva, Basel, maybe Lausanne as well. And oh yeah, Lucerne is also super super pretty with the bridge. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You, you people know a lot about Switzerland. I'm very impressed. It's great. And the cowbells, of course. The cowbells are also super popular from Switzerland. And uh, I think watches, right? I mean, we're also quite famous for the Swiss watches. Very cool. Uh, yeah. So I think, yeah, that was, um, that was my contribution. Hey, do you have any questions for me? Awesome. All right, well, Steph, I know that I have a couple questions for you, but if those of you watching have questions for Steph, uh, please ask us in the comments, and then we'll ask them at the end of our cultural moment. So, Steph, my question for you is, I love to travel. So if I were to come to Switzerland, what is, like, the one place that I have to go visit? Ooh, that's a really tough question. I mean, like, I am from Zurich, right? So I think you should really see Zurich. We have this beautiful lake. And in summer we have, and I know you like theater, we have an amazing theater festival by the lake with amazing food, a lot of buskers, a lot of free performances. And it's just really, really nice. But I also really, really advise you in, to go into the uh, mountains. Do we, uh, shall I already ask, uh, answer the questions or? No, tell me more. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I would, I would just advise you to go into the Grizzons uh, because we have beautiful mountains there, and you can just hike for hours and really, really climb up these mountain tops. And like this is for me, this is the utmost feeling of of freedom when I've when I've hiked all the way up to a mountain top, and then you just you're on top of everything and you see and 
this like ah, oh, it's just it's an indescribable feeling. I just um, it's it's even better than climbing the Alpine Tower. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll have to get there someday. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And then my other question for you is, I also like to learn new languages and you guys at home can help me learn some language as well. So would you teach us how to say um, good morning, Camp Hazen? <laughs> of course. So in Swiss German, that would be Guten Morgen, Camp Hazen. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try to, we'll break it down, okay? <laughs> so, what? So let's break it down word by word. So how yeah. do you say the first word? <laughs> Guerta. Guerta? Mm -hmm. Guerta. Guerta. Morgue. Morgue. <laughs> yes, very good. Guerta morgue. Guerta morgue. Welcome home, everybody. Guerta morgue campaign. I mean, you can also like do it campaign style. You could say like "Good morning, campaign." <laughs> yes, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And the other All word. Right. So I see word. a few other. What's that? Do you do you want to learn any other words? Oh yeah. What what else do you want to teach us? Um, I think like the most famous one is, or a fun one is like cheesecake, but that is made out of actual cheese, Ooh. like not, so like it's a savory cheese, uh -huh. um, and it just features one of like the most fun sounds of Swiss German, it would be Kreischuche. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm going to try it. Can you, can you break it down again for me? Kreis? <laughs> One more time. Hes. Hes. Yeah, I mean this. It's a very, it's a very specific sound. It's like it's if imagine you are just really ang like an angry snake. Like. Ah, okay. <laughs> so like hes. Hes, Jeffrey. Hes, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 getting better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> All right, yeah. so I think we have a couple questions from our <laughs> listeners. So Dennis was wondering if you have a national bird. Oh, <laughs> the national bird. Um, I, I, I don't think so. I would just say maybe like the, nah, I don't know, maybe some mountain bird. Ooh. I would spontaneously, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then what do we have? Oh, what's your favorite food from Switzerland? Um, I would actually go with fondue. Like a proper self homemade cheese fondue. Nothing can really beat that. So if in case you don't know, I mean I think it's also popular in America, right? What is so that? you bake fondue, what it's just really like has? melted cheese but with uh yeah i mean we also put some garlic in it and some milk and some other ingredients <laughs> <laughs> and we just i think you did like quite a few things in it and but the original swiss thing is just with white bread unhealthy as possible <laughs> just carbs and fat it's amazing awesome. anything with cheese on it <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. All right. Do we have any other questions from the audience? Oh, do you speak all four of the languages as well? Uh, I wish. I wish. I speak Swiss German and French, and I understand Italian, but I just know a couple of words in Romance, like the the important words, like cheese and chocolate. That would be. Cachiel and chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how many languages do you speak? Like, because you speak English, you speak a few different languages. <laughs> well, yeah, I speak, I speak English, French, German, Swiss German, uh, Swedish, uh, a little bit of Russian. Wow. And I, I just started to learn Slovenian, which isn't the most useful language in the world. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> only two, only two million people uh, speak it, but it's fun. Yeah, I just, I really love languages and I love cultures, and so that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, 
Beth is asking, um, what is your weather like today or this time of year? Um, it's, I mean, it's, cool. it's cold, uh, but like you feel that spring is coming. So I think it, it's about like 10, um, 10 degrees around, but like the sun is coming and you, you, you really see the, the flowers are coming and the birds are singing. So it's really nice springtime. Spanish is the most beautiful language. Yeah, um, Spanish is wonderful. It's a really, really beautiful language. But it's it's fun because I understand Italian. I can like, it's, I can uh, pretend to speak Spanish sometimes. <laughs> That's so great, my guess. All right, any any final questions before we we sign off for today? <laughs> We have a motto. I for, I forgot. I, I I also I just found that um, uh, um found that out. It's in Latin, and some of you might already know it because it's a good one, and it also features in the three musketeers. Um, it's unus pro omnibus omnes pro uno, which is one for all and all for one, which is a nice oh. motto. That's our official motto. Do you have a favorite thing to do in Switzerland? Um, yes, I have. Uh, in summer, I love swimming in the lakes because all the lakes are so crystal clear and just beautiful and let myself uh, like float in the current. And in winter, it's skiing. I love skiing so much. Yeah. That's so great. All right. Well, that is all the time that we have. I just want to say thank you so much, Steph, for doing our first cultural moment on Instagram. It was so great to see you and get some time to chat with you today. Yeah, well, thank you. Or how we would say in Swiss German, danke vielmal. Uh, <laughs> well, I definitely, well, I'll be talking to you soon for um, some lessons. <laughs> it was a pleasure. It was an honor. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, absolutely. It was an honor to have you on. <laughs> Um, right. If you're listening, if you want to um, see more cultural moments like this, we're going to be going live every Friday, and we'll let you know what time we're going live on our Instagram story. So stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions for who you want to see next on Instagram, please let us know in the comments or message the campaigns and YMCA Instagram. But other than that, we'll see you next week and keep an eye out on Instagram and Facebook for all of the things that we're doing online in the upcoming weeks. But it's so great to see you all and to have you all on here with us. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>